Hi, Yarna Bees. It's me, Sandy. You're going to hear George clamoring around because <clears throat> he's home. Well, he, it's, it's Crochet Bee. No, he's not home because he wants to be home. He's home because he's waiting for a DoorDash delivery. So he's, uh, if you hear his phone go off, that's him getting a delivery. So, ouch, that's really hot. <laughs> Okay, I put my, my coffee in the microwave because it got a little cold. Yeah. <clears throat> Dummy. <laughs> anyway, um, I have a few things to talk about since I last saw you a couple days ago. <clears throat> Caught up on my sleep and all that kind of stuff. Sort of. Maybe a little bit. <clears throat> um, okay, so... The last video I did was my Blissmas video and I didn't have any more gifts to, um, to open. So I just ended off my Blissmas. Um, Rosalie had contacted me and she actually sent me a gift card from Amazon to make up for it. I told her not to, I, she did not have to do that. Um, <clears throat> but she did. So I thought, okay, well, what am I going to do? I'm going to look on Amazon. And then I remembered that I had something in my Amazon cart that I've had in there for quite some time that I've been wanting to try out. And I'll put, oops, there's. And Sandy's heart grew three sizes that day. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, put your put your clothes away. George goes and does the laundry, and then he leaves his clothes on the um, on the couch. <laughs> so, time to clean up. <laughs> um, anyways, so what I had purchased, I'll put a picture here somewhere. One of these, I don't know. Here, here. <laughs> um, what I had purchased was a a double yarn ball holder, and it's on spindles right so when you put the yarn ball on there you just pull the yarn and it just spins uh, I have I have one that's similar to this except it's just for one ball uh, but it doesn't have the grips on it so it slides all over the place and it's a pain in the butt so I this one has grips on it and I'm actually going to try and put um, like a rubber grip of some sort on my other one as well because I mean it is pretty useful but I do find that if you're going to use these you should really cake up your yarn first <clears throat> because just putting a skein of yarn on there it doesn't work it's uh it just yeah it's awful <laughs> at least for me it is um so I was really hoping that I could use a two skein ball uh, ball holder because I really want to start putting thinner yarns with thicker yarns um, I've been I know I know Madonna closure your, close your ears I've been watching these knitting channels why <laughs> I don't knit but it's these three sisters that, ha that they all knit and they all crochet and they all do vlogs. And they, um, I don't think they've been on YouTube for very long. It's been under a year. But my God, in four months, they have taught themselves to knit and knit sweaters. Like, I'm shocked. And so I'm just fascinated with, between the sisters, the different vlogs. And sometimes they, now they've incorporated a vlog together. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of cool watching them and watching their progress. But what they do is they've got these double knit yarn balls, uh, ball, ball holders, and they take a mohair, like one of them takes a mohair and a regular yarn, like a wool yarn, and they put it together and the sweaters come out gorgeous now unfortunately i can't use wool i can't use mohair i can't use alpaca which crushes me um <clears throat> so 
but I can use a thinner yarn with a thicker yarn of acrylic. Can I ask a question? Uh, yeah. If these three sisters were arguing with each other, would that be nitpicking? Brain must hurt from thinking up all this stuff. <laughs> and how big is a knit anyway? You don't want to know. <laughs> We're not going to be talking about knits. <laughs> oh, okay. So anyway, so I thought maybe this yarn ball holder will, I keep wanting to say winder, um, will be a new thing for me, right? So yeah, so there you have it. Thank you so much, Rosalie. I'm going to use this thing like crazy. Um, I'll even do video footage of it and stuff like that so that you guys can all see. So far, I mean, I think you can get some on Amazon or on Etsy, but they're pretty pricey. Uh, so the one on Amazon is, is a fairly good price for what it is. It's all wood. It's beautifully crafted. So yeah. So when it gets here, I'll show you guys. Okay, I have things, I have things to talk about. Um, uh, all right, put on my eyes. Okay, oh yes, I got it all written down here. <laughs> oh, you guys, the traveling hook. <gasps> it's coming home. Yes, the Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook is coming home. Um, Helene from uh, uh, Cabin Fever Crochet has it. Um, she's already done a video. It's in the playlist down below. I have a playlist for the, all of you new people that don't know what I'm talking about. I sent two hooks around the world, two furls hooks around the world. So that I went, sent one to Australia and I sent the other through Canada, down through the States, and then up again. <clears throat> and it's had quite the journey. Uh, I had one person that couldn't do it, so I had to skip over her. And then the last person to get the hook, um, she hadn't done a video in quite some time, so I wasn't sure what was going on, and she hadn't contacted me in time. So Helena is going to send it directly to me <clears throat> or Helene. God, I keep wanting to call her Helena. It's Helene. Um, so <clears throat> yes, so it is going to be on its way home. I am so pumped. I am so excited to get it back home. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the reason for those that are new, the reason why I did this was because a lot of people hadn't tried a furls hook before. And so I thought, hey, this is a great way to, I, I did, started this when COVID was like just blasting, okay? And everybody was getting depressed and feeling really, feeling the, the effects of what the pandemic was doing. So I was thinking this would be a great way to bring the yarn community together and, you know, I mean, to get a hook that has been touched by so many other yarny sisters, um, the energy in that hook, I bet, is amazing. So um, they, I sent along wipes, like Clorox wipes, so that everybody could be safe. Uh, I sent a book in there so that they could write down their experience with the hook. And then I sent a bunch of stitch markers that I made along with the hook so everybody could get one. Um, and I just can't wait to get this book in my hands so that I could read it. I have not yet opened up the book from Australia. I've been waiting for the other hook to come home so that I could sit down and read the both of them at the same time. Well, not the same time, but you know what I mean? <laughs> and I thought it would be kind of fun to share it with you guys. <clears throat> so, yeah, so it's coming home. 
oh, I'm just so thrilled. I'm so thrilled. And, you know, it was really fun to watch the reactions of people and their thoughts. Some liked it, some didn't. Some were kind of like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but I gave everybody a two-week span to really get into the hook and try it out because it takes a bit of time to get used to a furls hook, right? It takes a little bit longer to get a whole, get used to an Odyssey hook because of the weight of it. <clears throat> That's why I sent a streamlined furls. So yeah, so I, I'm just, I'm so pumped. I can't wait for it to get back to me so that I can just hold it and cradle it and feel all the love that's in that hook. So yes. Yay. If you want to check out my playlist down below, there, there's a playlist for the Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook, and it shows all the videos of everybody that has used the hook. So go check that out. Okay, um, my sister, it's, I had mentioned in one of my videos, my sister is starting to do project bags. Um, she's had a few sales since the last time that I had spoke to you about that. So thank you so much. We so appreciate it. Um, also, she has a few more in there. She's about to make a few more. Um, there was a request by a, by a Yarny sister for a cat bag, for uh, a, a project bag that had cats on it. She's working on that right now. Um, so I can't remember the name of the person that asked for that. Oh, I'll have to go back and look. Um, but if you're watching this right now, if you could email me at crochetacanada at gmail.com, that would be so helpful. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. So, yeah, so <clears throat> if you want to go and check out her Etsy channel, it's Cawing Crow Creations. And I, I have the link down below. Um, and check out her stuff and my niece's stuff. Yeah, my niece makes just beautiful. Oh, I, you know, <laughs> I showed my niece once how to make a crochet top, right? She took that and ran with it. She makes sweaters now. She makes tops. She, and I'm talking about thin yarn and intricate patterns. Like, I'm just like, and she, oh yeah, she's just gone totally gangbusters. And it's a shame, you know, that our shipping is so much here because I think that she could sell these like really I think she could and it's unfortunate that our shipping is so expensive it would cost more to ship than than she charges for the garment it's the same with me you know so that's sad but go check it out go check out her her shop and um yeah I would love it if she show show a little support because my sister and my niece work so hard on this stuff Okay, guys, this excites me. The Matrix is coming out with a new movie. Did you guys hear about this? I am stoked. I am I'm a Matrix buff. I love The Matrix. Keanu Reeves is my absolute like yeah. Ah, oh, like I love Keanu. Um Keanu. <laughs> Um, it, it, I'm just, I'm so excited for this movie. I've been watching the previews and I'm really hoping that it's not a movie about his mental, mental, you know, like he's all in his head and it's all fake and it's all, you know, like I'm really hoping that this has actually got some grit to it. <clears throat> the last Matrix movie that came out was really different it was a little hard to follow, <laughs> um, but it was, the music was great. I loved the music in the last video, in the last movie. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it was interesting. So I can't wait for this to come out. It's already out. I think today is, to, it came out today, didn't it? What? The Matrix. 
22nd. That's tomorrow. Is it the 22nd or the 21st? I don't know. I thought it was today, but <clears throat> anyway. I phone up Keanu and ask him, but you know what he say? <laughs> oh, no. Here we Whoa. go. Whoa. <laughs> that's what he always says. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, my God. The first movie I ever saw with him, of course. Bill and Ted's Excellent Bill and Adventure. Ted's Excellent Adventure. Whoa. And you know how I saw it? I actually won tickets on a radio show. <laughs> it was in the 80s. So I had never heard of him. I didn't know anything about him. And I won two tickets to go see the movie. And I took my friend with me. And I was hooked from that point on. <laughs> and who was his co-star and whatever happened to him? He's still around. I don't think he's really he's like been the in Peter anything. Peter Scolari of. Uh, yeah, he hasn't. He hasn't been like in Tom any. Tom Hanks and Peter Scolari. Yeah. Keanu Reeves goes on to huge fame, and Alex Winter goes on to you know Doctor Drew show or whatever. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know what he's had. Well, they did the the new Bill and Ted stuff, but I which I haven't seen. I just can't seem to bring myself to watch it. I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. So tell me if you guys are going to be watching The Matrix, because, yeah. I Yay. would bend over backwards to watch that show. <laughs> the Matrix. Oh, my God. Here we go. He's trying to do a Matrix movie. He's going to throw his back out. <laughs> So, <laughs> yesterday was a bit of a day. If you guys saw my uh, posts, um, I woke up yesterday morning and Bailey wasn't feeling very well. Her stomach was really distended and it was hard as a rock. It was just like a drum. And the night before, she wasn't moving around very much. She was really out of sorts, not acting like herself. And George had woken up to diarrhea on the carpet. And so <clears throat> um, she was not a happy puppy. And so I, I was really starting to get nervous because her stomach felt the same way it did that Odie's, Odie's felt like that. And Odie had cancer. So I freaked out, right? And I thought, oh, I better take her in. So I, I took her in. I sat in my car for three hours. Like a whole bunch of us were lined up. And um, it was cold. So we're all taking turns, kind of turning our car on for a little bit to keep us warm. And then we turn it off. I took some crochet with me. Whoa, I almost said I took some knitting with me. What the heck? No. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I took some crochet with me. I got about this much done and then I ripped it all out again and I started again and it was the Jacob's ladder that I was trying to do and I don't know what the heck I did wrong, but I was so frustrated, you know, I was, cause I was worried and I was trying to crochet when you're worried and it just, sometimes it just doesn't work. So anyways, um, they took her in and they were, she was in there for quite some time, probably about two hours. And then the doctor finally phoned me. Like the doctor had surgeries and emergencies and everything. So they all took precedence, right? <clears throat> so they finally phoned me and asked me a whole bunch of questions. And, and uh, they said that she was stable and that, it, you know, she was happy. I could hear her barking in the background. And... Um, so they ended up doing blood tests and everything came back negative. <sighs> so they figured that it was, um, she was just having some really bad stomach issues, you know, like a bad stomach ache. And you know how when you've eaten and you get bloated and your stomach's hard and you're feeling really cruddy and you're just thinking, God, I wish I could just poop this out. I think that was happening with her. So... They gave her antibiotics and gave her something for her stomach. I've got some medication here. And she must have just had a stomach bug or something. Because she was like going. 
almost like when you get too much saliva in your mouth or something and you've, you've got acid reflux and it's like you're going, oh, I don't want to throw up. You know, I live that every day. Um, so that's kind of what I was thinking is that she was getting acid reflux. And uh, she was kind of whimpering a little bit. Not whimpering, but she was just making this sound. And so, yeah, I was really concerned. So anyways, they gave her this, this medication, the shot. Today, she's like a new dog. She's um, wanting to chase the ball. Her stomach is soft again. Um, she's on the couch, I think. <laughs> she slept like a rock yesterday and last night. Um, and I didn't even know. I, I fell asleep and I, I slept too. And I didn't even feel her get into the bed. So she actually was able to jump up on the bed. She wasn't able to jump up on the couch or anything <clears throat> while this was going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so, um, yeah, I mean, she slept hard. And so, yeah, it was, it was good for her to get this medication. So she's okay. She's okay. She's, uh, cuddly, cuddly, like just had to be with me all the time. I should, I had the, her in one side and the cat in the other side. The cat was starting to feel like, why is she getting all the attention? <laughs> so it was like, okay, fine. You know, so I kind of, I was bombarded by animals, but Bailey was sitting, laying beside me on my chair and she did not move for like an hour and a half. I had to keep checking her to make sure she was okay, <laughs> but she was just out. So yeah, but anyways, it cost us like $800 just to find out that she had a stomach ache. I was like, are you kidding me? $400 for blood work. That's insane. It's absolutely insane. You know, like I really got in the wrong profession. Like, oh. That just, that drives me crazy. Anyway, and then they says, well, you know, if you had medical or if you had pet insurance, I says, you know what? I got pet insurance when I first got her and I, I used it for her teeth and then that was it. I never used it again. She says, well, you're supposed to get it towards the end of their life. And I'm like, she's got a lot of life to live. Hello. You know, so yeah, I was like, whatever. <clears throat> so... <laughs> Anyway, so she's okay. So thank you so much for everybody's concerns and well wishes. Oh, ah, you guys, if you saw my Instagram and my Facebook and my other, my regular Facebook and all that, you guys will know I made the news. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, I... Thank, I have to thank Sandy Duda from Left is Right Crochet. This was her brainchild, I think. Um, I don't know if she got it from someone else or someone else did it or whatever, but she is the reason why I did this. Um, I made four dog blankets to give to our canine officers in Nanaimo. And Sandy... Sandy had to make like 14 blankets. Oh, wow. What a trooper. Um, but her blankets are like intricate, man. Like she's really double stranded, gone for it. You know, like they're solid blankets. I cheated a little bit, <laughs> you know, um, but you know, they turned out really nice. And so what I did was I wrapped them all in a, it, like I wrapped them in a, a, like a, what do you call it? A roll. <laughs> and I put, I went out and I got these heavy duty chew toys, right? They're meant for big dogs. And I put those in the baskets and then I put a bag of dog treats in the baskets and I had them all in, um, Christmas type bags and I went to the police station and I gave them to the police station. I put my business card in there and uh, and then I got a phone call from the media 
coordinator for the police saying that he's going to write a story, a little blurb about my gift to the K-9 unit. I was like, oh, that's really sweet. And then um, I got a message from Sandy saying, uh, I saw on the Crochet A Facebook page that, you know, there was a story in the news about you, but I can't open it. I'm like, what? So I'm like, I didn't get any notification about that. So I went on the Facebook page and sure enough, there was a post there from one of the Yarnabies and it was from the Nanaimo Bulletin. And I was like, oh, I opened it up and boom, there's a picture of Herc, one of the dogs, and a couple of officers holding up the, um, the blankets. Now, the coordinator had sent me a couple of other pictures that didn't make the news. So I'm going to move over here a little bit and I'm going to post some pictures here of um, these are the bags that I had given the dogs. And I, I also got, um, I got them a little card that had a dog on them and it was, oh, it was so cute. So here is another picture of the stuff that I put inside the bags. And I unfortunately don't have a picture of the actual blankets. My bad. Um, but, you know, <laughs> I was just, I needed to get them off and, and out the door. So, oh, sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah. So anyways, I... Oh, I was really, really excited. So I think I got a picture of Luke, Luca and Herc. I think Luca, was it Herc that had, was with the blankets and the officers and Luca had a picture of him with the blanket on top of him. It was so cute. It was so cute. So yes, I got it done. Um, I, <clears throat> if you'd like to read the article, uh, I'll leave a link down below with that in there. So, yeah, it was so, so sweet. So sweet. So I, when I went to take Bailey to the vet hospital yesterday, I got something in the mail that says, you got a package. I'm like, what? And uh, I had to pay like $12 for border fees. I'm like, what? I don't know if I ordered anything. So I go to there and I find out there's another Hobie order. Hello? Can you go do my car? My job. Oh, okay. See you later. Okay. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, Chris. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, so yeah, I, got, I was like, I, did I order something else? And then I've realized it's part of the order that I did the last time that just, it didn't come. So I guess this stuff was on back order or something. So if you remember, in my last Hobie order, I ordered this. And this is Fantasy Jumbo in the black, white, and, and um, gray. Has he left yet? I think he's left. Um, oh no, he's downstairs. I'm making George a sweater out of this. That's the lattice stitch thing I was trying to work on in the car yesterday. Yeah, so I'm making him a sweater out of this. I don't know if I'm gonna get it done for Christmas, but uh, <clears throat> so anyways, the other one that I bought was this one. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, these are not usually the colors that I gravitate to, but I just thought it was really unique and pretty. And this color is... Color number two in the Fantasy Jumbo line. It's 100% acrylic. It's a bulky six. 
There's 262 yards in here, 240 meters. So, yeah. But it's like, look at that blue, green, yellow, red, pink. Like, it's just really unique. And it's dark. It's like this, right? So I thought, okay, I'll try it. So I got five of these. <clears throat> and then <laughs> I opened up the package and I don't remember buying this many of these. Like I've got, like, you remember these ones that I got? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. I don't remember ordering this many. Like, holy cow. I can't use all of these. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> this ball's seen the better days. It's like, popping out of its shell there. So anyways, I got a lot of this, you know, a lot. So I was thinking since it's Christmas time that I would do a little giveaway. Yes. You interested? Yeah. Okay. So I am going to be giving away a couple of these, a few of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two giveaways. I'm going to split this up and I'm going to have a giveaway for four skeins of this yarn. Yeah, you guys pumped? <laughs> so two people are going to be getting four skeins of this yarn. So if you are interested in thin yarn, like really thin yarn, I believe this is like a two, if I remember correctly. Oh my gosh, it's a one. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. So if you guys are interested in a size one yarn, leave a comment down below and just put what should we put christmas let's just put the word christmas okay and uh and i will do a drawing how about we do this drawing on christmas day yeah yes let's do the drawing on christmas day and I will draw two winners for the Christmas yarn. Okay? Yes. Okay. So I think that's all I have to talk to you guys about. Um, oh, I do have something coming up. I have a pattern coming up. Oops. Here we go. <clears throat> that's all I'm showing you and this is going to be part of something else it's coming up in January uh, and I will talk about that a little later and yeah so leave your comment down below and I will talk to you guys later thank you for joining me I love you all I love you and I hope that you guys have a fantastic Christmas and uh, yeah, hopefully everything with this, these mandates and everything, oh, they're just, they're going to come down on us again. <sighs> just in time for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you all. I will talk to you soon. Mwah. Don't forget to join in, me, join in with me on the 25th because I'm going to be starting the 12 days of Christmas with Billy the Crafty Floridian. Okay, bye. Hi, everybody. I'm okay. 
I'm just really tired. Say hi, Abby. I'm not feeling well. Okay. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, my puppy. Goodbye, everybody. Then there's Bella, Queen of Sheba. Say hello, everybody. How are you today? Hey. <laughs> She's such a queen, just sitting here. Just like, yes. Pamper me. <laughs> Ready, pussycat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 